the reality of human life yeah. is that we're subject to a host of uncontrollable natural disasters that are imminent. Yes. They're going to happen. Yes. Yellowstone's going to blow. We're going to get hit by an asteroid. And we might nuke ourselves, too. Super volcano would kill okay. almost all of us. The Yellowstone super volcano, it's a caldera volcano. Like, they didn't, they didn't realize that it was so big until somewhere in, like, the 2000s, I think it was, they did satellite imagery and they realized, oh, my God. That's the caldera of a volcano, like this Yellowstone thing. We thought it was just this crazy place with hot springs. Like, no, that's a super volcano that is a continent killer. And it blows every six to 800,000 years, and everyone dies. This is the line of cars here at West Yellowstone waiting to get into the park at 7. Historic and catastrophic flooding blew it out in 2022. Yellowstone National Park is a vast and geologically unique area located primarily in the northwestern United States. The park is famous for its stunning natural beauty, including its vast wilderness, diverse wildlife, and numerous hot springs, geysers, and other thermal features. However, Beneath the Yellowstone Park is a series of underlying volcanic activity, which has the potential to cause significant geological events. Yellowstone National Park occupies a unique position on top one of the largest active volcanic systems on Earth. Situated within a 6 by 25 mile caldera formed by three cataclysmic eruptions over the past 2.1 million years, the park straddles an underground hotspot where a shallow magma chamber gradually recharges. While dormant for around 70,000 years, ongoing geological unrest serves as a reminder that volcanic hazards persist here. Monitoring of Yellowstone's supervolcanic system is therefore essential. The United States Geological Survey maintains a network of seismometers, GPS stations, and additional sensors to detect any emerging signs that rising magma could change the course of future activity. Even minor swarms or quakes hold valuable clues about shifts occurring miles below the surface. In recent times, Average seismicity has fluctuated but generally held within a typical range of 1,000 to 300 quakes per year of mostly micro or small magnitude. Periods of heightened unrest often precede larger seismic events as tectonic stresses gradually accumulate and release. However, forecasting the likelihood or intensity of future quakes remains challenging given our limited visibility into subterranean processes. From June 2022 onward, Yellowstone witnessed an anomalous spree where the monthly tally of detected quakes significantly exceeded the established baseline. Preliminary analysis indicated over 400 tremors had struck inside park boundaries by early fall, more than quadruple the seasonal norm. While individually small and likely posing no direct hazard, their greater sheer number demands prudent attention. Could an uptick in seismic release point to changing underground conditions within Yellowstone's plutonic infrastructure? Are stresses building that may yet result in rumbles stronger enough to impact surface features? Or is this simply a temporary surge that will presently abate without culminating consequences? Only ongoing vigilance through interdisciplinary science can slowly elucidate such mysteries under the veil of solid rock. A Yellowstone National Park official was interviewed and warns that the seismic uptick is concerning and requires close monitoring. And this restless Yellowstone caldera is truly living, breathing, and every once in a while it burps. The park official has stated that this seismic uptick is concerning and requires close monitoring. This statement suggests that the recent increase in seismic activity within Yellowstone has raised some alarm bells among the park's scientific and management teams. They are likely closely observing and analyzing the data to better understand the causes and potential implications of this seismic activity. This is because Yellowstone is home to a supervolcano, a massive volcanic system that has the potential to produce catastrophic eruptions. The last major eruption at Yellowstone occurred approximately 630,000 years ago, and it is believed that another eruption, while highly unlikely in the near future, could have devastating consequences for the surrounding region and potentially even the entire planet. Given the park's unique geological features and the potential risks associated with Yellowstone's volcanic activity, the park officials likely have well-established protocols and monitoring systems in place to detect and respond to any signs of increased seismic or volcanic activity. 
The fact that they have expressed concern over the recent seismic uptick suggests that they are closely tracking the situation and are prepared to take appropriate action if necessary. Located within the Yellowstone caldera, the Yellowstone Volcanic Observatory maintains a network of over 300 seismometers to monitor ground vibrations across the national park and surrounding areas. Their efforts provide vital insights into the restless geological processes active underground. Small earthquakes are frequently detected, with most too minor to feel on the surface. However, periodic swarms can foreshadow sizable events. In recent decades, notable phase of heightened seismicity took place between 1984 to 1995. Over that interval, over 10,000 quakes were located, far surpassing the park's running average. Their epicenters migrated in clustering patterns suggesting linked fractures moving fluids and stresses around. Ultimately, a 7.3 magnitude earthquake struck north of the park in 1959, largest on record for the region. Following months of relative normalcy earlier in 2022, seismographs lit up from late June onward as a spate of low-level tremors began emerging from varied epicenters underneath Yellowstone. Through diligent focus on incoming data streams, analysts worked tirelessly to pinpoint each event's precise origin and better grasp why activity suddenly spiked so acutely. Preliminary findings homed in on certain notably active areas within the Izzard and Norris Caldera zones evidencing heightened microcracking. But precisely attributing causes remains elusive without access to direct samples or observations from deep below opaque layers of rhyolite beds. Alternative theories weigh processes like rising magmatic heat pulses versus fluctuating hydrothermal fluid pressures as potential triggers. Natural systems uh, can can throw us a lot of curveballs. A lot of things can happen that we're not really ready for. Ongoing, open-minded monitoring shall watch for clues whether swarming behavior abates of its own accord. Or perhaps swarms suggest deeper changes gathering in Yellowstone's restless plumbing system, with eventual impacts still unknown. Though hazards appear minimal so far, Prudence demands maintaining diligent study till geodynamics settle once again under this iconic landscape. In time, more pieces may fit to solve earth-spanning mysteries here. For now, efforts by scientists continue deciphering seismic whispers from Yellowstone's timeless subterranean forge to help comprehend our place amid natural forces far vaster than humanity's short tenure. Their careful vigilance helps empower preparation, however imperfect, for Yellowstone's future. The Yellowstone National Park official has described the current seismic uptick as a last warning situation, suggesting that the seismic activity has reached a critical level. This characterization of the situation indicates that the park officials view the recent increase in seismic activity as a potentially serious and concerning development that requires immediate attention and action. This implies that if the situation does not improve or stabilize soon, it could potentially lead to more severe consequences, or even a catastrophic event. In the context of Yellowstone's volcanic system, a last warning situation would likely refer to a scenario where the seismic activity is approaching or has reached a threshold that could potentially trigger a major volcanic eruption. Yellowstone's supervolcano is known to have the potential for such catastrophic events, and the park officials are likely closely monitoring the situation to ensure that they are prepared to respond effectively if the conditions continue to deteriorate. It is important to note that the park officials have not explicitly stated that an eruption is imminent or even likely. However, the terminology suggests that they are taking the situation very seriously and are concerned about the potential for the seismic activity to escalate into a more severe geological event. It is also possible that the park officials may need to consider issuing warnings or advisories to visitors and nearby communities, depending on the severity of the situation and the potential risks involved. While Yellowstone is a popular tourist destination, the safety and well-being of both visitors and local residents must be the top priority in the event of a significant geological event. According to Yellowstone officials, fears are being expressed that the underground magma chamber driving the Yellowstone supervolcano is undergoing changes that are putting pressure on the Earth's crust. The Yellowstone supervolcano is a massive volcanic system that is fueled by a large underground reservoir of molten rock known as a magma chamber. This magma chamber is what powers the various thermal features and seismic activity that are observed within Yellowstone National Park.
Deep beneath Yellowstone National Park, one of the world's most dynamic volcanic systems, lies an enormous, previously unknown reservoir of hot, partly molten rock big enough to fill up the Grand Canyon 11 times, scientists say. According to this, researchers had already known about a plume that brings molten rock up to within about 37 miles of the surface that contains about 2,400 cubic miles of magma. This means, scientists already knew of a large magma chamber under Yellowstone that fed the eruptions 2M, 1.2M and 640,000 years ago. The new study, published in the journal Science, revealed a second, deeper reservoir 4.5 times larger. University of Utah Geology and Geophysics professor Fan Chi Lin said the blob-shaped lower magma reservoir in Earth's lower crust was located 12 to 28 miles, 19 to 45 kilometers, under Yellowstone, with a volume of 11,500 cubic miles, 48,000 cubic km, or 11.2 times the volume of Arizona's Grand Canyon. This magma chamber is filled with hot, mostly solid and sponge-like rock with portions of molten rock within it. The researchers said about 2% of it was completely molten. The upper and lower magma chambers sit above a plume, or upwelling, originating in Earth's mantle about 40 miles, 64 kilometers, underground and transferring hot materials toward the surface. Scientists had previously suspected a lower magma chamber existed, but had been unable to confirm it. The researchers said the technique they used, seismic tomography, was analogous to a CT scan of the body, using seismic waves as they travel through Earth to image the subsurface, distinguishing between rock of various densities. They also combined both local and distant earthquake measurements to image Yellowstone's complete magma system. From this find, scientists could confirm that the reason for the birth of new geysers, hot springs and mud pods daily is as a result of the newly discovered magma chamber. Yellowstone National Park preserves the most extraordinary collection of hot springs, geysers, mud pots, and fumaroles on Earth. More than 10,000 hydrothermal features are found here, of which more than 500 are geysers. Hydrothermal features are the result of a complex volcanic system. Rain and snow that seeps into the ground becomes part of the region's groundwater system. As the groundwater moves through rocks above magma storage, it's heated and chemically altered by geochemical reactions. The heated fluids absorb gases and compounds from the magma and crust, such as carbon dioxide, hydrogen sulfide, and methane. The fluids then move in and out of fractures in the rock, building up and releasing pressure. This process causes the caldera to lift, fall, and quake. These features, though attracts a lot of tourists, also stands as a reminder of the behemoth that lies beneath the surface of Yellowstone. The concern that is being expressed is that this magma chamber is currently undergoing some sort of changes or activity that is putting increasing pressure on the Earth's crust above it. This could be indicative of a buildup of pressure within the magma chamber, which could potentially lead to a major volcanic eruption if the pressure continues to rise and the crust is unable to contain it. The fact that these fears are being expressed suggests that the park officials and the scientific community are closely monitoring the status of the Yellowstone magma chamber and are detecting signs that it may be going through a period of heightened activity or instability. This could be manifested in various ways, such as an increase in the volume of magma within the chamber, changes in the temperature or composition of the magma, or shifts in the movement or pressure of the magma against the surrounding rock, hot springs, and animals' behavior. These changes in the magma chamber could be directly related to the seismic uptick that was previously mentioned, as the movement and pressure within the chamber can cause the Earth's crust to shift and tremble. The fear is that this increased pressure on the crust could eventually lead to a catastrophic event, such as a major volcanic eruption or a large-scale earthquake. The officials also warn about the park visitors and residents in the surrounding areas of Yellowstone National Park. They are being urged to stay vigilant and prepared in case the current threats escalate. By urging people to stay vigilant and prepared, the park officials are likely communicating that the current threats, whether they be related to the seismic activity, the potential instability of the underlying magma chamber, or any other geological concerns, have the potential to worsen or escalate in the near future.
This call for vigilance and preparedness is likely a precautionary measure taken by the park officials to ensure that everyone who may be impacted by a potential geological event is aware of the situation and knows how to respond appropriately. For park visitors, this may involve providing clear instructions on emergency procedures, evacuation routes, and safe zones in the event that the situation within the park deteriorates. The park officials may also be working to ensure that there are adequate supplies, resources, and emergency response capabilities in place to support visitors who may be in the park during a crisis. For residents in the surrounding areas, the call for vigilance and preparedness may involve coordinating with local emergency management agencies, distributing educational materials on emergency planning, and ensuring that there are effective communication channels in place to rapidly disseminate information and instructions in the event of a larger-scale geological event. By doing so, the park officials are demonstrating their commitment to the safety and well-being of both park visitors and the surrounding community. The potential consequences of a volcanic eruption at Yellowstone National Park for the surrounding region and the global climate are being outlined. Given the park's status as home to one of the largest supervolcano on Earth, if not the largest, the concern is that a major eruption at Yellowstone could have far-reaching and catastrophic consequences that extend well beyond the immediate vicinity of the park. The park officials and scientific experts are likely articulating the various ways in which such an event could impact both the local and global environments. For the region surrounding Yellowstone, the potential consequences of a supervolcano eruption could be devastating. Depending on the scale and intensity of the eruption, the immediate area could be inundated with ash, lava, and other volcanic materials, causing widespread destruction to infrastructure, agriculture, and human settlements. The release of vast amounts of volcanic gases and particulates into the atmosphere could also lead to significant air quality issues, posing serious health risks to local populations. Beyond the immediate impact on the regional landscape and communities, a Yellowstone supervolcano eruption could also have profound effects on the global climate. The massive injection of volcanic ash, gases, and other materials into the atmosphere could disrupt atmospheric patterns and weather systems, leading to dramatic changes in temperature, precipitation, and other climatic variables worldwide. This could have far-reaching consequences for agriculture, ecosystems, and human societies globally. For example, the reduced sunlight and altered weather patterns could lead to crop failures, food shortages, and economic disruptions in regions far removed from the eruption site. The changes in climate could also threaten the stability of fragile ecosystems and habitats, potentially leading to widespread biodiversity loss and environmental degradation. The park officials and scientific experts are likely outlining these potential consequences in order to underscore the gravity of the situation and the need for vigilance, preparedness, and ongoing monitoring of the Yellowstone supervolcano. By articulating the possible regional and global impacts, they are emphasizing the importance of taking the current seismic and volcanic activity within the park seriously and being ready to respond effectively in the event of a major eruption. It is important to note that the likelihood of a catastrophic Yellowstone eruption occurring in the near future is considered to be relatively low, based on the available scientific evidence. However, the potential scale and severity of the consequences of such an event warrant the attention and preparedness of both local and global communities. A catastrophic explosion at Yellowstone shouldn't be taken lightly in any scenario. Inform someone about this, and make sure to check out recent updates about the Yellowstone supervolcano. Now that these new signs are unfolding, is it signaling a devastating event that might happen in North America and the world at large anytime soon? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. Thanks for watching and if you enjoyed this video, make sure to click the video on your screen.